Jet TV just in time Hello hello son Bonani Africa and warm welcome to Jet TV news where we bring you nothing but politics business sports and entertainment all in one experience my name is Andile Kokuletu in Tombia kwaqindi omahlaba let us head straight into your today's headlines. Zimbabwe plans to build a second Limpopo River Bridge. High Court rules the conversion of US dollars into Zimbabwe dollars as illegal. Christian Adu found dead after Turkey earthquake. Zimbabwe is planning to build a second bridge across the Limpopo River to improve the flow of traffic at the Bait Bridge border post. It was said by the Minister of Information, Publicity and Broadcasting Services, Monika Mojranga. The construction of the bridge will help improve or maintain the flow of traffic at the border post as well as facilitates the implementation of separation of traffic at the point of crossing, said the Minister. She also revealed that the government will enter into a partnership with Forbes Border Consortium on the design, build, operate and transfer project for a modernized Forbes Border Post. Now, the High Court of Zimbabwe has ruled that laws used to convert U.S. dollars balances into Zimbabwean dollars were unconstitutional to the event that they violated property rights. In a ruling delivered on the 15th of February 2023, High Court Judge Justice Mafusi Re ordered CAPS to pay the money to applicants in U.S. dollars and not Zimbabwe dollars. In a post on Twitter, Tendai BT Law said that High Court ordered the bank to pay local businessman Richard Harold and his wife 142,000 U.S. dollars that had been unlawfully converted into RTGS dollars. Fortunately, they won the case, all thanks to advocate Tandirai Mafugidze, who urged on who argued rather on their behalf and on to the african news now democratic republic of congo and china are at crossroads over 17 billion dollars investment from a 2008 infrastructure for mineral agreement with Chinese investors, which is presently being renegotiated. The Chinese investors are committed to spending $3 billion on infrastructure projects under the, the cycle mine still, but the State Auditor Inspection General Bordes Finances demanded that the commitment could be increased to $20 billion to reflect the value of the mining concessions contributed by Gekka Mines to the deal. However, a request for a response from a Psycho Mines representative was not immediately returned. Moving right along now to the international news. The suspension of a senior journalist at France's leading TV news channel has uncovered what appears to be a well-organized system of corruption and influence buying in the international media. It was reported in January that 54-year-old Rashid Mbaki, a, a respected rather BFM veteran, had been similarly removed from his duties as overnight presenter pending an internal inquiry. According to the investigation, Mbaki ran reports on a variety of subjects to luxury yards in Monaco, a Sudanese oppositional leader allegations of corruption in Qatar who had all been planted by an Israel-based outfit specializing in news for hire. Mbaki denied being paid to run the stories but had admitted to bypass BFM's editorial checks. Now let us move right along now to the business side of news. Jet TV just in time. Just in Time Television introduces a revolutionary game changer, a massive banner, bringing your live streaming, be it entertainment, news, animation, reality shows, you name it. Visit our website at www.jitstroptv.tv where you can stream just in time and subscribe for only 10 rand. And don't forget to go on our social media platforms at Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Jit TV is still yet to bring you. Entertainment is our game. Jet TV, just in time. 
as the city of Harare faces rapid population growth coupled with climate change. A new state-of-the-art sustainable capital city is being built in the suburb of Mount Hemden. It is a smart city building compromising 250 homes, including 80 luxury villas with green spaces and offices. The project is being led by the Zimbabwean Ministry of Finance and Economic Development. While the total cost of $500 million is disputed by the public opinion given at the country's impasse, the Zimbabwean authorities are banking on this major project to improve the living environment at at least 1 million people. The Zim Cyber City will also create jobs for young people, particularly in the digital economy sector. This Cyber City is to be a key feature that will bring added value to our new city here. The development around here for the smart city on 15,500 hectares will be the smartest city in our region. While South African Revenue Services is touting its improved tax revenue collections, especially from wealthy taxpayers, the sustainability of its tactics has come into question. The CEO of Consult by Momentum said that SARS Commissioner Edward has been beckoning consumers to share their tax affairs with SARS while still initiating tactics to target high net worth individuals and corporates. SARS also made clear its intentions to identify more low-hanging fruit to bolster its coffee through auditing cases of unexplained wealth. Jet TV, just in time. Super devastating news on our sports tonight as footballer Christian Adu has been found dead under the rubble of his home almost two weeks after the Turkey earthquake, his urgent had confirmed. The Ghana International 31 had spells with Premier League sides Everton, Chelsea and Newcastle. Adu has been missing since February quake that caused the collapse of his apartment in Antakya, Hate. The Ghana Football Association said Atu's body was recovered on Saturday morning after almost two weeks of emotional torture. His body was then flown back to Ghana on Saturday for burial. Now, the Amakosi French player caught the eye after being introduced as a substitute against Maritzburg and Zwane had a decision to make. Kaiser Chiefs was looking at completing a PSL double over Lamontville Golden Arrows on Sunday last week. Coach Arthur Zwane was set to make a few decisions regarding his starting lineup as Mduduzi Shabalala picked up a knock during last week's Nedbank Cup clash against Maritzburg United. While Mashiane impressed after coming on the 88th minute, there were no guarantees he will be promoted to Zwane's starting lineup. Now on to your JTV News with a report. And that is all from me to you. A huge thank you for joining me tonight. As always, kindly please comment and follow us on all our social media platforms at Twitter, Facebook and Instagram or rather go to our website at www.jit-tv.tv. Signing out, it is Andile Kukuletu in Dombia Wakzindi Umaslaba. Have yourselves an amazing day. Jet TV, just in time.